dignity to all tyrants of garb. Let it be known you are vile garment mongers. Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure. Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at mealtimes, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. A fair Dane joins the ranks of the liberated. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Just put your... Hey! Stop that! Our clothes! Leave them! Stupid thief! Gap thief! Oh. Forever, as Winter wanted. Hmm. Now, now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful! Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings, a breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy! Be well. When chill the chest tree. <sighs> oh, me apple cart hath fallen. These apples must be eaten. They're too juicy to be left to rot. You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple, no? Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west. Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer to the west? Yes, we call him the Hammer. And his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. My cart busted. Oh, me apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten. They're too juicy to be left to rot. Don't that do we love. I got it in honor. Now off the sheer river. Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I would be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you, once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your God? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh, oh. It is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Well, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. The act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlack at the end of this glorious pilgrimage. Drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples, if you like. We bob. Bob? 
is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. Oh, Brother Holtwolf. And you've made a friend as well. Good to have you back. Calcia menta mihi mundus es satis raro sedate, sint piorum ambulare in atris domus dei, et ingens vestigia fecit de paradiso voluptatis. I built the silo and manage our trade deals. All the barley would rot. The barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat. Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it. Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly two hundred. I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The silver should be shared equally. How am I to be encouraged to make all of these deals? My endless hustle, the paperwork, he couldn't sell his own eye. The barley would never even exist without me. My barley is known across Mercia and Essex. Sebi's slush. My soul is in the mug. Hmm, indeed. The situation is strange between these two brothers. even use silk thread to sew us off. Very expensive. It does hold a fine stitch, though, and disappears. Aye, good farmer. I don't know what to do. I have such anger in me. Take a breath, drink some ale, and enjoy your hard work. No amount of silver is worth a broken friendship. Impossible, I'm afraid. When my blood boils, the world must know. In my home, there's only one way to settle this honorably. A home gang. You're right. Bollocks to him. I'll pummel him. Give him a taste of a laborer's fist. Fucker! Come out and fight me! You think I am stealing profits from you? You are stealing dignity from me. If I must raise my fists, I shall. Oh, I shall! Pay for your sins! Remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. Dogs who forgot why they're even barking in the first place. What have we become? Reduced to animals. It is true that we were once all so happy. Perhaps we can now start over from scratch. It doesn't feel like a calendar, does it? <laughs> Children, has your family always been this quarrelsome? Yes, they have. But I hope that has changed thanks to your intervention. Even if it was drastic. Thank you. 
One day I'm gonna be as strong as grandfather. Oh well. Oh, such a fine wallop it is. Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather, and be careful unless you want a walloping. I am certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop, boom! Like a wolf, howling with its knuckles. Well, this wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather, there's someone looking for a walloping! Hello! Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are Drenga, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around the hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor, even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wall up. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. Aid me, O oh Lord! Oh, and so goes my day. Down you go. Oh, I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You have thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various awards for bashing skulls. Oh, I feel liberated <laughs> of my legacy. Promise, now I can live the normal Please. life that has forever Please eluded me. Thank the heavens! Each <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my kingdom, Wandering Lord. This is your kingdom, you say? Indeed it is. Northix. And I am its first and reigning king, Equald. And as sovereign, I seek a keen ally to secure my strength. Kingdom. This island here. Yes, from shore to shore. My brothers and I came upon this unclaimed land some months ago, and found it suited to our ambitions. Sadly, my brothers were drowned in a terrible squall soon after, along with our riches. There was an arm ring among them. To you, I offer this arm ring in exchange for my loyalty. Find the ring among the wreck, and you may call a king your friend. A good arm ring can be as important as blood to the heart. If I find it, I will let you know.
I found your arm ring amidst the wreckage of your ship. By all that is great, I cannot believe my eyes and ears. Now you are pledged to the kingdom of Northex. That will show him. Your past is dubious. I cannot trust a man who lost his brothers so easily and so suspiciously. What really happened? Nothing! The arm ring is mine. MINE! This kingdom was to be one of the greatest in England. The ring shine has blinded you. To hell with now I blind you with blood, you sapper! You have broken a sacred alliance with the greatest of kingdoms. <laughs> Rats! Tough lands, old man? Those rats. I tried everything. I poured lye, I harvested locusts, I hired children to kill them. I need an army of miracles. They are pesky and have ravaged your good crop. No, the gods can't get at rats. Ha! You heathens and your gods. All I want is to rid my field of rats. Feed the fair folk of the Shire. You need natural warriors to keep them at bay. Rats, be gone! Shoot! Shoot! I feel your army of cats have a destiny unrealized. You are a Freya of the Fens. What? Who the hell is Freya? Is she the whore that tried to eat my last week she is a goddess much like you with pious and mighty cats that help her fight show your claws good lady oh yes mighty that is what they are and me their goddess hmm. if you want use this key and see for yourself Ooh, my pretty babies There you are. Head to the fields. Tat tat. Fight your battle. They should get some air. I guess I am. Like this Freya you spoke of. Cats are sacred beings. They help keep harmony. Your rat problem has been taken care of. Pray to Freya. I never thought the meow of cats could soothe my soul. Take this key. In my house I have some goods. Please help yourself. If I had my eyes, I would show you its splendor myself. Alfheimer, you say? Have you drunk a seer's concoction? No. I am as blind as they come. However, the light elves guide me through this realm, and I sense it. The path is fraught with delight. Energies the light elves dropped. And at the end, the third paradise. Wind blew. The wind blew. Higher than all the realms. Higher than Valhalla itself. I used the magic balls of Muspel, lit by the light elves to guide me. We will see the wind blew together. Please illuminate the path into Elfheimer. Ah. I sense the Light Elves, the luxury of their strong souls. Here they are. Are you from here? I hail from Zila. Joined Guthrum on his march through the swamps. 
not losing my eyes. They left me behind. Please, illuminate the path. Your family? Friends? They are back in Zealand. But no need. I have the Light Elves whom love and care for me now. Please, illuminate the path into. We are close. So close. From here, a final leg to this journey. Yes, here. This is the path. The wind blew is across the Swan Road. I can see it. The river steed will be needed to cross. Attract any unwanted attention from the dark elves. Oh, how they haunt me. This place is heavily guarded. There. That is Freyr's castle. He keeps court in there. He did. Until the dark elves came. Those dark elves. For Odin! The dark elves have returned! Spare them no mercy! Burst their skulls into small crumbs! Cut their large ears off! Please let me find the wind blue! You foul dark elves are ruining it! You can have your wind blue now. In peace, old Ringer. Ah, yes. The realm is safe. For now. Hey. Is a play. Aye, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed, no longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. Heathen, this is a place... You seem lost and homeless. Make of mine what you will. You could burn it to the ground and it will not change. Heathen. Proud converts like myself. Yes. Go ahead, destroy my crates and take my belongings inside them. God provides me enough. Heathen, this is a place for proud converts. 
converts like myself. Mm. I seek those who wish... You see? I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It does not bother me. You will soon change from your pagan ways. Cannot be broken. Thank you for sending this devil to test my faith. <coughs> Go ahead and slaughter my livestock. It is not something I wish to do, but I would gladly. And all of this homestead? The livestock. This is all yours. They are not mine, but God's. I have converted to God, and now I share all, all things. Yes, you mentioned that. Yes, burn it down. Make a pyre of the past. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like a stupid heathen, lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? And now you stand. I worry that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... That's the key. This hut reeks. As if... A battlefield. Corpses. Are these your other converts? Or, or your past crimes? You desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong... Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite, but not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was! Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater! Die a thousand ways and times like the others! You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar, full of false pride. You should be judged at an all thing for your crimes. Over here, good warrior. Hi, stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspect. It must be from my most recent battle. <laughs> you should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Drenga. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. 
I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Send you down the beef rust. It is time. You know, there's a great mead hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. Nothing finer than an endless night of drunken glory. To make you forget all of the dishonorable fops in this world. All your enemies have been slain. Now, you rejoice. My child, your home is cursed with shit. I wish I could laugh, but... I cannot. Yes, that rank odor is from the devil. The devil who produced me with this prick. Oh, that smell. He dips his arrows in cow dung and never washes. Says it brings him luck. We're doomed to choke in father's shit house. The cow dung he keeps... It's in those crates. It has mutated into the most unholy of pungent monsters. Oh, oh. to be careful here. The stink from those crates is gone, but in my experience, if you do not cure the sauce, shit returns. My father, Diggolas, he's a famous archer, but he never washes. Never. I'm going to confront him, that pox. Mother, I'm going to get father back. I've had enough. Change is in the air. Literally. Father, the war is over. Our home is clean. You can stop sinking up the earth. Take a bath. It's not my fault. My filth is useful. My arrows are more deadly covered in shit. No one was complaining during war. Ow, oh, my mudka! Ah! I'm soaked! Ah, water! I hate water! My coating is gone. My layer of sacred warrior shit has run off. Mother, you won't believe it. Father has been cleansed. We can live without the toxic clouds he once produced. Thank the good Lord! Baptized again, my beautiful Degolas. My love, you are finally clean. Our home also. Come here, my love. I can see your skin again. How does it feel to be clean again, Degolas? This clean feeling is strange to me. I was happy as a degenerate mudball. 
I never worried about these vain ventures. Your desires are not always those of your gods, your family, and your, well, those you lie with. I feel I've sold my war yourself. The grime inspired my bow. My shit arrows would strike fear into my foe's nose. Well, I'm certain your arrows will still fly true. You did not lose your archer skill. Only time will tell. Be well, stranger. <laughs>